So, John, this is the machine? Yes, this is it, Chris. What's it capable of? Well, it'll, it'll power a house. This will, the machine will provide, provide sufficient electricity to run a house and have power to burn. It sounds too good to be true, but inventor John Christie is convinced his machine will change the world. So, John, basically you're saying this machine can produce five times as much power as it consumes. Yes, it, it does. This one, exactly as we see it, it does. And, in fact, it can produce more than that. Once kick-started from a battery, John and his partner Lou Britz say this prototype will run for years without stopping, generating 24 kilowatts of power a day. You don't get more revolutionary, I think. I mean, we're talking about something that has the capacity to change the way that the world produces its electric power. It has a capacity to change the way that motor cars are, uh, are propelled. It can, it can replace the combustion engine, in fact. John, these are big claims. Are you sure you can live up to them? We don't really need to live up to them, Chris. What, what the, the technology speaks for itself. I mean, a householder could buy one of these machines and install it in his garage and power his house forever without buying another kilowatt from a retailer. I mean, that's how serious it is. Steve Brassington is an independent electrical engineer. He's seen the machine and backs up everything John says. It's revolutionary. That's the only way to describe it. I think the, um, the technology, it's not bending physics, it's just using principles um, that I guess are, are commonly in use in power generation today in a different way. These guys have thought outside of the square. Basically it's magnetic attraction and magnetic repulsion that provide the movement or the moment of the, of the motor. Can you understand why some scientists are sceptical about it? There is no physicist or, or engineer who has looked at our, our um, motor or has looked at our figures who says it doesn't work. Lou is an electrician and John a businessman in Cairns in far north Queensland. The two unlikely inventors have been tinkering with their machine for six years. They've applied for an international patent and have been swamped by people wanting a piece of the action. The, uh, these are the coils. We mentioned the coils don't get hot. Mm -hmm. Local businessman Alex Roma is one of the many offering money to help develop the generator. It proves up to, uh, to be uh, what they say it is. It certainly would be something I'd uh, invest in. John has also spoken to millionaire inventor George Lewin, the man who came up with the Triton workbench and who's now setting up a fund to stop Australian inventions going overseas. There's an opportunity here, I think, to share an invention with the world um, that is beyond anything that we've ever contemplated before. Scientists here at the local university say while they're interested in John's machine, they're also cautious. They say if the machine can generate as much power as John says it can, then they will have to rewrite some of the laws of physics. And they've urged people to be cautious about investing in it until the generator has been independently tested. Anybody who says it doesn't work hasn't seen it or haven't, hasn't looked at our figures, they haven't reviewed it. If they look at it, they'll all agree with us that it does work. John says the household generator should be available in a year and sell for about $5,000. If he's right, it will make him much more. And how much do you think your technology could be worth to you? I have absolutely no idea. We could be talking about millions of dollars here? Yes, oh, oh, very definitely you're talking millions of dollars, but uh, I, uh, I'd hesitate to even take a, a stab at it.